is that some of the things that you obviously talk about with the CEOs? They're like, listen, we need to kind of address this right at the head and then go down? Or how do you typically go about doing that? You know, the 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 person that I usually spend the most time with is sort of the, the person that's stuck in the middle, right? They're okay, the, got it. The director, the the chief people officer, um, the person that brings me in and says, we recognize our company needs work. Uh, we need to work on this project, this this process, this project, this initiative is usually the way it's framed. Um, and we do have some buy-in from our executive team, um, but we need to figure out how to start. And so we end up operating in a couple of, of, of ways. We work with, as I said, the, the consulting and the um, coaching of the executive teams, but then there's the people managers, right? The ones who are really touching people every day, the hiring managers, um, and the talent acquisition teams, the recruiters, right, who are going out and sourcing and bringing people into the workplace. So we do a lot of education for those teams. Okay. Um, and we find that if we can start there while also working with the executive teams to get them to understand that, you know what, you are the host of this party, okay? Mm -hmm. You don't get to just toss some money at your 16-year-old and say, hey, go plan a party. Right, like that's not how it works. That's like, not, yeah, no. that'd be, that'd be like, a crazy party, by the way. <laughs> right, it's like you were the host of the party, right? You are responsible for everything that goes on. Mm -hmm. So no, you don't have to be the person that is outside uh, parking cars at the valet, right? And you don't have to be the person in the kitchen making the food and serving people at the party. But you have to know what's being served, right? You got to create yeah. the menu. And how it goes about being served, the way it goes about, what's the demeanor and all the things. That, that's actually really hard for a newer CEO of understanding that you are in charge of everything. You, you're next in a line. You, that's a reflection of you. So if you have someone within your organization that speaks, I guess, unkindly to an individual, that's a reflection of a CEO. Like yeah. our job is to put people in a position to win and me putting you in a position to win. That requires a lot of touch points that you don't see. <laughs> you know? So you have to really take that on board and the ones that actually do, and they can wrap their mind around that concept. Those are the ones that you do see having success.